All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends. Not many people know about this account, but we are doing it here for a reason. Um, share the link if you don't mind. Invite your friends and let everybody know. Uh, today we will answer this Abdul Muhammad Hijab, who his lies is beyond imagination, and we like to get him busted as usual. Uh, It's good, it's good that somebody decide to lie because the more they lie, the more they make it easier for us to expose Islam. As simple as that. <clears throat> if they don't lie, we will not be able really to expose them. You know, in order to prove that uh, to somebody that this religion is a bad religion, and then those people are decent people, then you will have a hard time in order to prove your point. So it's very good. I believe it's wonderful opportunity that Muslims always lying to us. And by doing that, they are exposing themselves. <clears throat> uh, Let us make a post here in Instagram so people will know we are here. Live in Christian. Yes. All right. Let us hear this Abdul and love together so we can enjoy our entertainment. Please invite your friends again. And don't, for, don't forget to download the video immediately after we finish it because I'm sure the Muslim will not be happy to see this video. Logically and historically impossible to think that Abraham was a Christian. He was not a Christian. Look at this donkey. He is saying Abraham was not a Christian. Have you ever heard of a donkey like this? He just said Abraham is not a Christian. You donkey. How Abraham can be Christian if a Christ I mean, do you do, do the Muslim knows what a Christian mean? He's saying Abraham was not a Christian. I mean, have you ever heard of a donkey like this? Continue. He's trying to convince you that Abraham was not a Christian. <laughs> Abraham believed in one God. Yes, he believed in one God. Hold on. Not in Islam, my friend. In Islam, your Abraham was a donkey. He like you. This is the fake Abraham. Abraham in Islam, he worshipped the stars, the sun, the moon. Let us see. Liar, you have nothing to do with Abraham. According to Muslims, Abraham was a scumbag. He converted to many religions in order to lie to them. He converted to the moon god, to the sun god, to the star god. And he changed his religion, the bent on the mood. If you read with me here, actually, let us go. Uh, let us go back a little bit. Allah <clears> Hada <throat> Rabbi. Here we go. When he saw the sun, <clears throat> when he saw the moon, he said, this is my God, and he worshipped that God. And then he said, I'm not going to worship this God unless this, because this God, he go astray, because this God disappear, which is very funny. As if Abraham in Islam, he ever saw Allah or saw his God in Islam. This is how funny the story is in the in the Islamic books. Abraham, he saw the sun. He said, this is my God. This is Akbar. And when he saw the sun rising, he said, this is my Lord. This is, is the greater. You see, this is false translation, by the way. It doesn't say greater, a, a, a greater. It says Akbar. They translate the word Akbar as a greater, the same as uh, David Wood he did, which is false. Greater had nothing to do with Akbar. Akbar means bigger. And the sun was called Akbar because it is in competition with the moon god. 
people they used to worship two gods major gods the Sun and the moon the Sun was Akbar for many then you will see that he keeps switching from a star to the moon to the Sun and this guy this idiot he's saying to us that Abraham was not a Christian for sure he wasn't a Christian you idiot <laughs> what a donkey continue he did not believe the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Donkey, donkey. Abraham, he did not believe in the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Why? Let us see. Well, let us see why. How he know? I urge every Christian to go to the Old Testament. Find me one verse, one verse in the Old Testament where the fa Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are God. It's not there. It's a Roman invention, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's get you busted. We know that uh, Sahih Christian, we know that Jesus met, uh, uh, met Abraham. This is not a news. This is not the question. He is saying that Abraham is not a Christian. This is a different story. Christian is a name given to the Christians for they follow Christ. Christian is a name was given to the Christians. The first people who became a Christians, they've been given name as a Christian. So it is not how you can be Christian if the name does not exist yet. The name a Christian. So please don't think I do not know what I'm talking about. So here you will see he said, give me one verse in the Old Testament is speaking about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Let us, let us get this Abdul busted. If we go from the beginning of the New Testament or the Old Testament, right away from the book of Genesis, and I'm going to use the translation which Muslims they love to. Uh, I don't know why they love this translation, but I'm going to use it. This is a translation they always ask us to, to read ASV. You will see from the first lines of the Old Testament, it says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. Do you see it, idiot? So now we have God and we have the Spirit of God. There was no creation, there's no human, there's no angels, and the Spirit of God. And yes, the donkey, he says to us, show me one verse. It is in the beginning of the book. It's in the, in the page number one. It is in page number one, not even in page number two. It's not even in page number three. But a donkey, he keep repeating himself, show me one verse in the Old Testament speaking about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And now we will see, did, did, the, did the Old Testament speak about uh, uh, about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? So now we got what? In one sentence, in one sentence, we got that there's God, the Father, and we have the Spirit of God. And by the way, in case you do not know, this is additional proof that Islam have nothing to do with the Christianity or even Judaism because at the end of the day we believe in one God Muslims God don't have a spirit and he is not a spirit do you know that the Muslim God is not a spirit and he has no spirit as simple as that so when a Muslim he said that they believe in the God of the of Abraham, then how you have to explain to me why your God is not a spirit and he has no spirit? Don't you see what, what God here is saying? A Muslim can ex explain that because simply they have a fake religion, fake belief. It's a it's a, a, a aftermarket copy, it's a, like a made in China copy have nothing to do if we go in the old testament we will see that abraham in the book of genesis chapter 18 abraham verse number two he met with with, with, with the lord himself now somebody will say to me who uh, okay this is god how you prove to me that this is a christ himself christ himself he said that abraham he saw me he witnessed my day he saw my day the Jews they said to him how 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 Abraham he saw you and he met you but yet you know you are not even 50 years old he said the truth I say to you that Abraham Abraham he saw my day now let us show verses one by one so we get this Abdul busted so now we got here that God and his spirit over the water let us go first to Islamic books or Islamic religion to show you what how funny Islam is Islamic teach clearly 
that Allah has no spirit and he is not a spirit all right let us see what it says <clears throat> read, read, read with me carefully please this is Islam answer dot Islam a question and answer this is not my website this is a Muslim website and the scholar there is answering he says the spirit or soul is not one of the attribute of Allah rather is one of things that have been created by Allah so the Muslim reject the idea totally that God is a spirit and that's alone is enough to prove that Islam has nothing to do with the God of Abraham has nothing to do with the God of Moses have nothing to do with the God of the Christians are we clear with that guys is that clear This is alone is enough to prove to us that Islam have nothing to do with the Christianity and have nothing to do with Judaism because the God of the Jews is a spirit and he has a spirit the God of the Christian is a spirit and he has a spirit and the God of Islam is not a spirit he is just a physical being which means is an idol because what make anything alive is being have a spirit if you don't have a spirit you are what Muslim, they say to us, Allah, don't sleep, don't uh, don't eat, don't etc. Don't don't don't. But he have no spirit. That's mean his spirit. His spirit is the power of life. When we say spirit is the power of life, who is the one who created us? The Creator. How he created us from his spirit? What does that mean? He gave us life from his life. He is the he is the life source. If he himself don't have life, how he can give you life? So here we confirm that the God of Islam has no life and he is not a spirit. Take a note, please. Then we continue. <clears throat> please invite your friends. Even though I don't feel good, but I, I saw this video, I want to get this Abdul Bastel. So here we got an answer clearly that Muhammad and Islam has nothing to do with, the, with Judaism and Christianity. Now we continue. After we showed you from the book of Genesis that God has a spirit and he has a soul, or oh, sorry, spirit, and he it says God and his spirit do you see it God and the Spirit of God we continue if we go and search for a spirit in the Bible you will see tons of verses in the Old Testament not only in the New Testament speaking about the Spirit of God the Spirit of the Lord and the funny you know, by the way Muslims they try to quote for us from the book of Isaiah to prove Muhammad to be a prophet, but we cannot find even the book of Isaiah in Islam. I mean, how in the world Islam is a religion from the same God of Abraham, but yet they drop one of the most important books. How come Isaiah book is not exist? Where is Isaiah in Islam? Do you understand me, guys? If Islam is a religion of Abraham, where is the book of Isaiah? Where is the book of Zechariah? Where is the book of Job? Where is all the books? It's gone. There's nothing. So how you claim that you speak for those messengers and you claim that those messengers are messengers of Allah, but you have nothing about them? Even the names are gone. We can't even find the names. Can you find any more stupid religion that's religion and yet you claim they are follower of Abraham? Okay, if you are a follower of Abraham, show me what is Abraham in the Quran. Abraham in the Quran is a person, his father is Azar. Have you ever heard of a stupid teaching like this? Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. You for sure you are talking about different Abraham then. We never heard of a guy, his name is Azar. Read with me. Read and love. If the Muslims has The same Abraham the Jews has forget about the Christian now you tell me how the father of Abraham became Azar either you have to admit that your God Allah is a fake God you do not know the real name of 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 of, of, of Abraham father and he called him Azar or you want to tell me that you Muslims are copy paste and Muhammad himself a copy paste he co he copied the word Azar he do not know what it's mean So you brag too much about that you have Abraham, but who is Abraham? 
even Isa, we do not know who is Isa. Isa is, is a son of Mary, the sister of Aaron. Mary is the sister of Aaron. The stupid Muhammad, he copied from the Old Testament that Maryam is the sister of Aaron and Musa. So he thought that Maryam is the same sister of Mar uh, and Aaron of, of, uh, and Musa. And the funny Muhammad, when they got him busted, he says, Ah, oh, in the old days, uh, Ka'b al-Ahbar, he came to Aisha and he said to her, As I know, there's a couple of hundreds between <laughs> Musa and uh, Aaron and, uh, and Mary. So how that can happen? So she said to him, you are a liar. And then the guy gets scared. So he said, well, the, the prophet knows best what he can say. But as I know, <laughs> there's a couple of, of, of hundred of years between them. And then Muhammad to fix his poo, poo look what he said. He said, in the old days, people they used to be called by their ancestor. And now Muhammad tried to fix it, but he make it blind. Because the stupid who do not know that Mary, she is not from the ancestor. Uh, Musa is, is not an ancestor of Mary. Musa is from different tribe. This is how we stupid Muhammad again. So again and again, Muhammad doing poo poo. Let us continue. If we continue, we will find the following <clears throat> in the book of Psalm. Look. What the book of Psalm and Muslim they speak that they believe in David and they believe in Solomon and they believe in the prophet, right? Look what, the, what look what it says. The Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till until I put your enemies. Abdul, who is the smart Muslim? He wanna tell us. God said to my Lord. The Lord said to my Lord. Who is the first Lord and who is the second Lord? I want a Muslim to scratch his head and squeeze himself or squeeze each other like Muhammad is squeezed by Jibreel. So maybe you can get me the answer. You said there's nowhere in the in the Bible said that there's a, a there's a trinity. Okay, here we go. We have a Lord, Jehovah. Say to my Lord, who is the first Lord and who is the second Lord? The answer can be found and refuted. The Muslim they say to you, where Jesus said, I am God, worship me, right? Let us see what Jesus said. If we go in Matthew, we will find Jesus speaking to the Pharisees. And look what Jesus said to them. <clears throat> but as the Pharisee was assembled, assembled, Yeshua or Yeshua asked them, and he said, What are you saying about the Messiah? About who? The Messiah, which means who? Jesus himself. Look what the Jews, they said. Who is son is he? Jesus saying to them. They answered, they were saying, he is the son of David. He said to them, and how did David by the Spirit call him the Lord Jehovah? For he said, the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit in my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. So here Jesus confirming to the Jews that the Messiah is the Lord of David. Do you see the Trinity? How easy to prove it? So we showed you the Father. We showed you the Spirit of God. And now we showed you from the Old Testament and then from the New Testament, from the book of Psalm and, and Jesus himself explaining to the Jews, refuting them, if Jesus is the son of David, which is a big honor, by the way, to any Jew to be called such a thing, but even Jesus don't accept that because he is the Lord of David. If he is the son of David, then how David call him? My Lord, the Lord said to my Lord. And then, if therefore David called him the Lord Jehovah, then how he is the son, his son? Guys, do you see Jesus saying that he is the Lord Jehovah? Do you see it by your eyes? People, do you witness Jesus saying that he is the Lord? <laughs> and the stupid they say to us, where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. Right? Now we can show tons of verses. I'm not going to spend the night showing verses. But when those stupid Abdul, they say to you, show me one verse. Just one verse is speaking about the old in the Old Testament about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. 
They are stupid and they are donkeys and they are certified donkeys and we are here to ride them. We are here to ride them. If you go in the book of Psalm, it's the same. This, the Holy Spirit, the Muslim, even they corrupt that name. They make the Holy Spirit an angel. If we ask the Muslims, show me one place in the Quran it says the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. They cannot. They will tell you it's a conclusion. It is a conclusion, but that cannot be. Why? Because if you remember in the Quran, Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. How you call someone Holy Spirit if you order him to bow down to a man because he commits sin and he made a mistake against that man? Well, the second you say holy, it's mean holiness. It means sin free. So how Jibreel is Holy Spirit Yet Allah, he ordered him and all the angels to bow down to Adam. Stupid religion. Nowhere in the Quran it says, in anywhere, in any way, in anyhow, that the Holy Spirit is an angel, his name is Jibreel. And we can, we can debunk that easy, actually. Now we continue. Read with me here carefully. <clears throat> Abu Huraira reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him, grant him peace. He said, Allah created Adam. What is the translation? Allah created Adam. What? You see the translation is gone. It says Allah created Adam and they cut the word. They cut the sentence in Arabic. It says, Allah created Adam in his image. Let us try to find a different place. Look here. Here we go. Look at here. You see, in the first translation, they try to hide it. In the second translation, look like it's different translator, and he is not, he is not a liar like the other one. Look what it says. That God, supposedly the God of Islam, he created Adam in his image. Is that refresh a memory for you guys? Is that something Muhammad he stole from the Bible? Allah created Adam in his image. That is something Muhammad he took from the Bible. The Muslims they refuse to accept that Allah looked like a man, but the Quran and the Hadith confirm that. The Quran confirmed that Allah have a man, he, he have a hands, he have fingers, he have a, 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 he have foot, he have a shin, he have, he have, he have, and Muhammad gave us tons of descriptions. And here the Quran or the Hadith saying Allah created Adam in his image. And look how tall how tall Allah is. He is 60 cubit, 30 meters. Do you see it? Very funny. And look, if we go in the Bible, we will find the Bible saying that God created Adam in his image. Genesis 1, 27, chapter 1, 27. So God created the man in his own image. In the image of God created him. Do you see it? <laughs> hmm. My friend, we are not we are not mocking hijab for saying he was a Christian. We are mocking him for he is claiming that he is trying to teach the Christian that Abraham is not a Christian. <laughs> this is the point. Are you a donkey or what? When you say to the Christian, Abraham was not a Christian, it's mean you are telling them that you think Abraham is a Christian. It's the same as saying that Jesus was a Christian. If you say Jesus was a Christian, that's mean you are a donkey. Are you getting it? Same time. Muhammad himself, he described his God to us and he said he is a clearly a man and he's short and he is fat. Read with me. Is that your prophet describing Allah? And he is saying the difference between Allah and the Antichrist, which means the Christ, the false Christ. Muhammad comparing between the false Christ and Allah. And he is worried that the Muslim might think that Antichrist is their Allah. But remember, the, the, the Antichrist in Islam is a person who claimed to be Christ. 
is not the same as Antichrist and Christianity. You see, Muslim, they would follow you between two to bracket Antichrist just to deceive you. This is not an Antichrist, the one in the Bible. This is an idea of Muhammad that there is a person will come and he will claim to be the Messiah. This is why they call him the Jal. The Jal mean the scammer, the liar, the false Christ. So the Prophet said, I told you so much about the Dajjal, which is the false Messiah. And I am afraid that you might not understand that that, that, that the Dajjal is a short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed, and an eye sightless, neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eye. Muhammad is the one is confused. Muhammad, he think that Allah, he look exactly like the Messiah, but he is worried that the real Messiah will be confused with the fake Messiah. You see here, here, if Muhammad don't believe that Allah is the Messiah himself, then why he is comparing between the false Messiah and the look of Allah? Do you understand me? People, do you understand me? If Muhammad don't believe that Allah is a man, if Muhammad don't believe that Allah look exactly like the Messiah, why he is worried that the false Messiah is too much look like Allah? He should compare between the real Messiah and the false Messiah. Why he is comparing between the false Messiah and Allah? So we can get you busted from your religion, from your cult, from your stupidity. And again, they will say to you that this hadith is weak. No, it's not. It is sahih. It's very fat hadith. Ate all kind of vitamin, vitamin and he and in, in, in this hadith he do sport every day. I'm not going to stay long in this video here, so people they can download it fast and easy. I will not make it big. I just wanted to get this Abdul busted. You Muslims, you are like that, like a recording machine. You report yourself. But you have no courage and you have no knowledge i will close in here and i will start a broadcast in my other channel arabian prophet after let us say 10 or 15 minutes is that good are we good guys after 15 to 10 minutes from now i will go to the other channel so if there is anyone would like to call me or any muslim would like to speak to me feel free not now give me 15 minutes we will go to the arabian arabian prophet channel please after we finish this one download this video and share it with your friend and let this abdul get busted stupid idiots and this guy don't forget hijab is the one who said that not a single jew for four thousand years believe in other god except one god four thousand years but the donkey he forgot that by by saying that he is getting his prophet busted because it is his a prophet who said that the, the Jews, they worship a guy, his name is Uzair, and they claim that he is the son of Allah. Do you see it? Chapter 9, verse number 30. This Abdul is a certified donkey. He exposed his prophet, and he claimed the Quran is a lie. Because when you say for 4,000 years, not a single Jew broke the command. He, he, he gave instruction not to break the command of worshiping one your God alone. Oh, oh, Israel, your God is one. That's mean he is condemning and he is showing us that Muhammad is a scam and the Quran is a lie because for 4,000 years, as he said, not even one of them. Not even one. So how the Quran says that the Jews worship Ezra, that he is son of Allah, as you see in front of you. Not only that, the Quran did not stop there doing making poo poo. The Quran continue in the verse after it and says that even the Jews they worship the rabbis, and they have taken their their scholar and their monks as lords beside Allah. Do you see it? This is how we get them busted. Follow me in the other channel. I will be in the Arabian Prophet in ten minutes from now or fifteen. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And if you like to learn more about Islam, feel free to read my books. You can find them in Amazon.com. And if there is any Muslim, he have the guts and he have the courage to call me and debate me, feel free. I am a Christian prince and the devil is under my shoe. And let me, call me and let me show you. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you all. See you soon again.